Hi, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can maintain and clean your own regulators between service intervals. In getting this right, not only will I save you money from costly repairs when they do go in for service, but I'll help you loot cooler by reducing the likelihood of you getting a free flow whilst on the dive site, and you'll become a better diver because you'll know how to look after your own kit. Hi, I'm Andy North Diver, and welcome to another episode in this series of scuba diving tutorials. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to regularly clean and maintain the serviceability of your dive regulators. If this is your first time here then, please click the subscribe button below. That way you can easily see all the videos we've produced before. And just at the side of that, you should see a little bell icon. If you click that, that'll give you a notification every time we post a new video. If you've not got a YouTube account then, click the little link that I've posted up here. That'll take you to a video that I've done. That'll take you two minutes to set up a YouTube account. That way you can like, you can subscribe and you can comment to any video that you watch on YouTube. And make sure you stick around to the end where I'll be giving you my top tip. So it's good practice every time you return from a dive to rinse your kit out and make sure it's nice and clean and ready for the next dive, whether that be in half an hour or three weeks time. Did you know that you don't need to hold a service technician's qualification just to maintain the serviceability of your own regulators? Grab yourself a brew, put your feet up, and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the dust cap. Firstly, it stops any water or dirt getting in. And secondly, on the top of there, you'll see there's a little O-ring. So if this one disappears, you can replace it with this one. But why would you want to replace it if you don't have to? So when you strip your kit down, make sure you put that on. Screw it up nice and tight. After we've fitted the dust cap, we're then going to stick the regulators under a running tap to rinse through the internals of the regulator to remove either any debris or salt buildup. Get your regulator with the mouthpiece pointing upwards. Turn on the warm tap and just run water through that, maybe for a minute or so. And you'll see as it's spilling out through the exhaust ports. In doing that, that should flush out any debris that's got in there and help reduce the salt and, and sort of crud build up within the regulator. Do that with both regulators then. Next, we're going to take the mouthpiece off and I'm going to show you how to clean and sterilise that. So all you need is a pair of wire cutters. Be quite careful on how you do this. You get up close to the zip tie and you just snip the end off. In doing that, you can just grab the mouthpiece and pull that clear. So if you take both of them off then, sometimes they're a little bit grotty inside. So what I'll do is just a little bit of soapy water, a little bit of detergent, give that a clean off of my hands, maybe a little a toothbrush that I've got in my, in my service kit, just to make sure that's nice and clean. Next thing you need is something like Milton, a sterilising fluid. It's available from the hardware store, about three or four quid. Now I use a two litre jug, and I'll probably half fill that. So just a little splash of the Milton in there, of the sterilising fluid into the jug. Follow that in with a load of hot water, and then leave these to soak. The benefit of using Milton, it's not gonna be sort of poisonous to us. You don't need to rinse that once it's done. It's not gonna to be too horrible tasting and it certainly does the job as a sterilizing fluid. So using the Milton then, it says I need one full cap of the fl sterilizing fluid for five liters of water. My jug's only two liters, so I'll just put half a cap full in, drop that straight into the jug. I'll then fire in my mouthpieces. Add a load of water to the jug, give that a bit of a swill around, and I'll leave that to sit there for about 15 minutes. So now I've serviced my regulators or I've washed them down, they've been soaking overnight, and I'm now going to put the, the mouthpiece back on. And certainly on the Apex one, they either have a logo on the top, or it says top. So you slide that on over the, over the mouthpiece, making sure it's all the way back on, nice and snug. That way you're not going to get a wet breath. And then you need yourself a zip tie. So if you buy a new mouthpiece because you're replacing it, it comes with a zip tie. If it doesn't, you can just nip to your local hardware shop or dive shop and I'm sure they've got it. So you just need to thread that around then. Thread one end in the other. And then pull that tight. Right, what you don't want is it too tight that it pierces the rubber, but tight enough that you certainly can't pull the mouthpiece off. So this is a zip tie gun. So it basically pulls it as tight as it needs to be and then cuts it. So you grab hold of the zip tie. That pulls it tight and then cuts it nice and trim, so there's no sharp edges. You can just use a set of wire cutters for that. Just be careful you don't cut any of the rubber or mark and dent any of the plastic. It's as simple as that. So as long as the mouthpiece doesn't come off, it's done. Then we're gonna soak the entire set of regulators in some warm water overnight to reduce the salt buildup in all the nooks and crannies. So this then, all you need is a bucket of water and a set of regulators and leave them to soak. Make sure they're fully submerged and just leave them there overnight. You don't need any detergent or anything else in there. 
just water. So when they come out the next day, they're going to be dripping like this. Just leave them out somewhere to dry. Then just put them away in the storage bag for the next dive. So my top tip, get yourself one of these rubble buckets from the hardware store. They're ideal for not only soaking your regulators, but keeping them clean and tidy whilst they're in your car or your vehicle. And also stowing some of your other dive kit. Brilliant these and only about a fiver. If you've got any comments or points or questions about what we've done today, put them in the comments box below and we're sure to get back to you. I'll even give you a thumbs up. Make sure you watch all the rest of this series then where you can see loads of top tips that I've picked up along the way. I'll put a series link just up here for you. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. See you on Insta.